Ben. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. What's going on, folks? Welcome to the 4 p.m. news segment. All right, so we got everything closing up a little bit. Um, I was taking a look at the queues during the break. It did did breach right below 319, but it looks like it finished right up above that 319 level. It had a pretty good run today. No, no kidding. You know, from 314 all the way up. So not not bad if you had some calls on that, depending where your uh, money was. Uh, DIA closed up 1.1 percent. The NDX up two percent. Again, kind of just. Kissing that level right there. Uh, the GDX, again, doing, well, yeah, that's quite a dip at the end of the day there on some pretty significant volume, at least on the daily. Um, so we'll see how that pans out tomorrow. I think the banks are coming out with some stuff tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then the dollar, it did end up slumping right above 101, and it settled at 101.02. Uh, SPY up again, one. Uh, 0.27, closing about 413, so that'd be 4148 uh, for the SPX. Apple, you know, massive crack up today, so that's pretty decent. Um, oh boy, no kidding. Had some slight volume all throughout the day. Looks like a little bit of like a red, I mean, obviously, but uh, on some higher volume. Uh, we'll see what that has in store for tomorrow. Um, Tesla, again, up 2.97%. When is he going to stop? Not sure. Um, had a nice, like, end-of-the-day consolidation there with, again, some high volume at the end. Uh, and then Meta up almost 3%. Again, some nice high volumes at the end there. That's interesting. Uh, we take a look just one last time at our Steel Dynamics. Again, ooh. Yeah, some good high volume at the end of the day in closing. We'll see what that holds for tomorrow. Um, one of the things I want to talk about tomorrow and stay tuned, we had someone in uh, the, on the YouTube stream uh, who asked me a few weeks ago about uh, hydrogen fuel cells. And I did some like research on that and some digging. It's actually pretty fascinating. Um, it makes me want to look at Toyota a little bit more. Um, I still think this is probably years out. Um, but, you know... Again, I think that with the rate everything is changing and the complete uncertainty we, we have in this market right now, um, I think we might see a, a nice new kind of beginning for a lot of these different technologies and a lot of different like strategies um, in addressing some of the problems we have. So guys, have a, have a wonderful Thursday and I will see you Friday.